Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the Baltimore Orioles franchise. Here now we'll be at the show 17. Coming off a win against the Kansas City Royals. Have one more game against them. Getting very close to the All-Star break. Playing a lot better as of late. Sitting at 45-33 and 33 in first place. So we'll keep simming it ahead here. We'll take that final game against Kansas City. Uh, Seattle will take the first game there. So Seattle's a 4-3 here in this game. But we come back, we get the victory. So hopefully looking for the sweep here in game number three. And then we face the Yankees and then the Cubs to finish off the first half of the season. Here against Seattle in the third game. And we'll sweep Seattle. So nice sweep there against a pretty uh, solid team. Coming against here, the Yankees sitting at 45-36. and 36. So this could be a little bit of an important series at the end of the break. Just a few games away from us in first place. Probably play one of these games here. So we get the first game there, 8-7. to seven. Alec Asher with the win. So we take game one of that series. So coming up here, game two. We'll hop into it. We have Dylan Bundy sitting on the mound. His 17th start. 8-6 and six record on the year, 4-4-8 ERA. Not his best season. Uh, struggling a little bit compared to last season. But hopefully he can turn around, have a good start here. And here we go. Starling Castro to start it off for the Yankees. First batter, 0-2 count right here in the first inning in the pitch by Bundy. And it's going to be crushed by Castro. This one's way back. And it is going to be gone. Just missed the wall there. And it gets through for a home run. So just like that, the Yankees start off with a bang, 1-0, 16th of the year for Castro, and here's the lineup, Castro, Gardner, Judge, Bird, Carter, Hicks, Suarez, Barnhart, and Glaber Torres, the young star at shortstop, so here comes Aaron Judge, having a monster season so far, 27 home runs, batting 315, and the pitch to him, 0-2 count, he gets him with the curveball, so that'll get Bundy out of the first inning, but the Yankees will strike first with a solo home run by Castro, so we're going to face Jason Shreve, his third start, 1-0 record, 4.91 ERA, maybe uh, kind of like a fill-in start here. We'll face Trey Mancini, 328 average here in the second inning. 1-2 count to him with one down, and Mancini's going to drill this one. It's a line shot, and it's going to actually get out of here. Unbelievable. Oh, it's the same as Castro. You're not sure if it's going to hit the wall. Just has enough to get out. So we tied this game right at 1, just a hanging slider. Mancini gets his hands inside quick, takes it the other way, and we're tied up at one. So here's Chance Cisco up now with two down in the second, and he's going to crush one. Way back, does this have enough? And it does. See you later. Another solo home run. Chance Cisco having an unbelievable season here. Up for rookie of the year for sure. He was our top prospect for a few years, and he is definitely panning out for sure his 16th of the year. So we take the 2-1 to one lead. So still in the second. We're going to catch up on Griffey here. Coming back from the minors, and he continues the hot streak with another hit there. He's been on fire as of late after changing that bat and stance. So hopefully he will continue for the rest of the year. Would love to see that to happen. So we head to the fourth. Here comes Suarez on Bundy. He's going to rip this one, and Jones is going to be able to cut it off. Hold Suarez to a single. But Suarez has been a killer for us in the past, and as you can see, he is doing a great job this year. Third in the team on this team and hits with 79. So here comes Tucker Barnyard up next. Now with Suarez in first with two down here in the fourth, and the pitch by Bundy, and Barnhart's going to absolutely crush this one. No doubter. Yankees using the power as well. Two-run shot will give them a 3-2 to two lead here in the fourth inning. Bundy not happy about that one. Leaving that fastball up, it's only Barnhart's third of the year. And it helps give the Yankees the lead here in the fourth inning. So we head to the bottom of the fourth. Worth up, two down, 0-1 count. And Worth is going to get a CNI single there or a base hit to continue this inning. And that would be it for Shreve. Interesting decision. So they'll bring in Adam Warren out of the bullpen. So here's Chan Sisko. Now with two down, man on first. Hit that solo home run earlier. And the pitch to Cisco, and he's going to rip this one. This one has another chance. Might get in the gap, and no, it'll be cut off and caught. So that will end the inning. We head to the fifth man on first here for Aaron Judge, who is a threat. And Judge on that curveball. Couldn't handle last time. Couldn't handle it there. Now the 2-2 two -two count. This one is left up. A changeup. And Judge doesn't miss that one. See you later. Aaron Judge, now his 100th home run of his career. Absolutely blasted this. You'll see how it just hangs in the middle of the plate. You can't do that. 
to a batter like that. So now the Yankees have a 5-2 to two lead. So here, bottom of the fifth, Griffey coming up, and he rips another single. So another hit for him, another multi-hit game. So this will bring up Dyson here. One-two count with Griffey on first. Dyson's going to hit this one, and it's going to get in there for a base hit. So trying to get back in this game here, man on first and second, and bringing up the heart of the order. So here comes Machado, 0 for 2 so far in this game. 1-1 one, one count for Machado. Warren with the pitch, and Machado's going to drill this one. The third, 5-4-3 to to inning killer double play. So we won't get anything out of that, and the Yankees keep their lead 5-2. to two. So that'll be it for Dylan Buddy. Cardo Caps will come in his 11th appearance. ERA just about six, and so not what you really want to see. So here in the seventh against Judge, man on first, and Judge is going to rip this one down the line. That's a fair ball cut off by Dyson. Over to third is Gardner, so first and third here for the Yankees. They're trying to add on more. So here comes Bird, 1-0 count, and he's going to rip a base hit. Gardner will score. So they take a 6-2 to two lead here. Carter Capps struggling, as you can see, hit by his ERA. So that would be it for Carter Capps. We'll bring in Yasiel Sierra. This will be a sixth appearance, 2.08 ERA after coming over that Dodgers trade. Looking pretty good so far. So bases loaded, two out. And the pitch to Suarez, and he'll get a fly ball to Jones. So he'll get out of it. The Yankees add another one, 6-2, to two, heading into the bottom of the seventh. So now here in the eighth, Judge up again, two, da two down, two on. Judge is going to rip this one. Can Griffey get to it? And he will be able to. So that will end the end of the air. We get out of that jam. So Ramon Ramirez will come in here, his 50th appearance, 4.09 ERA, 4-3 record in the 8th. So here's Machado with one down, trying to get something going, get back in this game. Machado's going to rip this one, and it will get down. Can't come up with it as Judge. Machado on its way to second, the throw, and he is in there safe. So he gets a double there. Got to get a couple more runs on the board to make it interesting in the ninth. That's a nine-game hit streak for Machado, so that's what you want to see. So here comes Jonathan Scope. 0 for 3. The middle of this order hasn't been able to do anything in this game. And hopefully they can get something done here in the final two innings. So the pitch to Scope, and he's going to rip this one and can't come up with it. So Machado on his way home. Gardner with a weak arm, and Machado will be in there. So we get a run on the board, 6-3. to three. Scope comes through with a base hit there. So here comes Trumbo. 2-1 count to him. And the pitch, and he's going to just reach out, and it gets a little tapper over the first baseman's head. We'll take it. So first and second, and that'll bring up Trey Mancini, who homered in the second. See if he can do uh, another one here to tie this game up, and he's going to get one, hit this one deep, but it's just really going to be a lazy fly ball. Four out. Gardner's got it no problem. So now two down. Man on first and second. Can we get anything else out of here? They're going to bring Tyler Clippard. His 16th appearance on the year, pitching very well so far. So Franklin Worth with a 2-2 count and the pitch from Clippard and Worth off the end of the bat. That's not going to be enough. Just a fly ball and the end of the inning. So we get one, 6-3, down going in to the ninth. And we face off against Aroldis Chapman looking for his 29th save of the year. Obviously a tough pitcher to face with that 100-plus mile an hour fastball coming at you. So Griffey with one down, three for three on the day. Pitch from Trapman, and Griffey's going to rip this one, and that'll be his fourth hit. So what a game for Griffey. All singles, but still four for four, trying to keep this game alive. So here comes Jones, 3-2 count to him. Chapman with the pitch, off of the pitch is Griffey, and Jones is going to fly this one, and Judge is up with it, and Griffey's stuck at second base. The throw back to first, and he gets doubled up. And that's how the game ends. Unbelievable. It was a kind of hit and run with 3-2. See if he can get something going. He gets stuck at second base. Can't get back in time. And the Yankees will take this one 6-3. They just used the power really pretty much. Their, they beat us at our own game pretty much. And Sterling Castro, a, a great game. Four runs, two for five. Obviously the home run to lead off the game. And Aaron Judge with a big time home run to help them pull away at the end. So third game, we take it 8-3. to three. Keep Simmons in head here. We got a three-game series against the Cubs right before the All-Star break. So up 6-5 to five there. We'll take that win. So right now, we are sitting at 52-34, and 34, looking a lot better. This month playing out definitely a lot better than last month. Um, let's see if we can 
continue this winning ways going to the All-Star break. Maybe uh, win the last two games here and have a uh, four-game win streak going into the break. So we'll take game two. 2-2 two, two here, and we get the victory in the ninth inning. So we'll take that. See what we can do here in the third game. Can we get the sweep of the Cubs? And we can, 7-1. to one. So we have a nice little four-game win streak going to the All-Star break. And we'll take a look at the standings. Now a three-game lead over the Red Sox. 52-38, uh, and 38. they're playing very well in the room. The Yankees right there, only five back, and we're sitting at 54-34. and 34. The Tigers with the lead in their division in the Central at 51-38. and 38. Four and a half lead over the Indians. The Royals, five and a half back. The Astros and the Angels tied at the break. Mariners, six games back. So the wild card, the Astros, Angels, Red Sox, all tied for the wild card. Yankees, two games back. Indians, five back. In the National League, look at the Nationals, 59 and 29, but still only a two-game leader. The Marlins are doing it as well, 57 and 31. The Cubs leading that division at 49 and 42, and a 10 and a half game lead over the next team, the Pirates, where 37 and 51. That division is awful. So in the West, now look at the Dodgers, 63 and 27. They have a 17 and a half game lead. They're the defending World Series champions, and they are just having an absolute unbelievable year. So the Marlins with the wild card, Mets right there. Uh, the Rockies three and a half out of the wild card there. But uh, the Dodgers, if they don't get back again, I don't know what's wrong because they are just absolutely just destroying everybody else. We'll take a look at league leaders. You can see the Dodgers. There's Bellinger, 368 average. Turner's right there at 343. Uh We'll take a look at home runs here. Sano with 33, Scope with 32, so he's right there, and Trumbo with 28. In the National League, Giancarlo Stanton with 27, Peterson there with 25, some more Dodgers, Turner, Bellinger. The Dodgers are absolutely just just doing it. RBI, it's Turner, Peterson, Bellinger. You have three of the top four RBI guys. It's, it's unbelievable. So in the AL, Trout, Lindor, Scope is there, Sano, and we have Trumbo down at 7. Uh, we go to check out some of the pitching stats, see who's winning, is leading and wins. Um, Colin McHugh with the 12 for the Astros. See, we have Quintana there with 10 our, as our leader. See, the Dodgers just have two guys sitting at 13 wins at the All-Star break, and then they have Kershaw at 11. So... Who knows? Maybe if we could make it to a World Series this year, I just want to make it to the playoffs first of all because we haven't made the first years. But if we could make it to a World Series, you could have a rematch of the uh, '66 World Series, the Dodgers Orioles. That'd be interesting because this Dodgers team, I don't see how they wouldn't get there. They're just dominating. Take a look at the rest of the stats, ERA, and we have guys up there themselves. So we're going to take a look at the roster at the All Star break. Jared Dyson, obviously, last year led the league in stolen bases, had a great year this year. Maybe the age getting up to him is kind of struggling a little bit. Um, Machado, just coming off the injury, hasn't played him any, you know, only 29 games, 277 average, eight home runs. Jonathan Scope, maybe turning into one of the best players in baseball. Uh, 302, 32 home runs at the All Star break. He only had 34 total last year, so he's definitely going to surpass that for sure. Mark Trumbo, the uh, MVP last year in baseball in the AL, continuing to do it. Trey Mancini, he we got back in the trade. Glad we did that, hitting 328, almost 20 home runs. Franklin Worth having a good rookie campaign, 291, eight homers, playing, doing some uh, decent fielding out there. Chance Sisko, another one, just 16 home runs. I didn't expect the power that he was going to produce, but he, uh, he's he been unbelievable. Griffey, I know he's only sitting at 242, but he has been a lot better. Uh, when he came up, and he's only hitting like 228, so he's raised that average up. He's getting better. Uh, Jones, I was a little bit concerned about, but he's actually having a very productive season. So um, good to have him, uh, you know, playing productive. We'll take a look at the minor leagues here. Paul Graves, who was up for a little bit, kind of struggled, um, hitting 280 in the minors. Montero, Montero with uh, showing some different power. Rickard down there hitting about 290. Uh, obviously struggled this year in the majors, only hitting about 198. Um, not a whole lot going on here in the minor leagues. Obviously in Triple A, in Double A, some guys want to look at Hart. Not doing too great. Uh, Rodriguez hitting 276. 
Drew Dross only hitting 228. Cabrera 255. Kind of Leon. There we go. He's hitting 326. And Hatton really struggling at 195. So I'll have to look at that. As for pitching, Dallas Keuchel, 9-5. 328 ERA. Good whip. Um, it's good uh, we actually have an actual ace of the staff. Carlos Martinez is... A lot better this year. I know he has five wins, but the area whip, he's pitched a lot better for sure. Uh, Julio, Julio Turan, good pickup, seven and four. ERA a little high, but still is a number three. I'll take it. Bundy's been very, he's been off and on this year. 4.71 ERA, eight and seven record. Um, whip at 1.31. And Quintana's been a great pickup. Leads our team in wins at 10 and two, 2.97 ERA. He's been outstanding for sure. Uh, in the bullpen, Garcia, pretty good re long relief man, 2.66 ERA, so that's what you want to see, 4-0. Carter Capps struggling at a 6 ERA, so I'm not sure. Might have to send him down. I'm not sure what to do with him. Givens, another guy just struggling with a 6.05 ERA. Uh, might have to look at that. Uh, LeCurk we picked up in the offseason, having a pretty good year, 3.48 ERA, 2-4 record. Asher. Another guy struggling to a bullpen struggling a little bit, but our starters are going a little bit deeper. So it's helping out O'Day. Still dominating. I mean, he's getting up there in age, but still just dominating. Yasiel Sierra, who just got in the trade, he is looking like a good pickup. And Zach Britton, ERA is definitely elevated, but still has 21 saves on the season so far at the All-Star break. Move Asher up there in Sierra. So we'll take a look at the minors. Luis Casillo. Not too bad. Was uh, injured for a while there, and then um, coming back. So he's doing pretty well. Hunter Harvey doing, you know, not too bad. So those two guys, uh, I was thinking maybe bringing them up possibly as a bullpen. Uh, guys with a couple guys struggling there, bring him up, get him some. Uh, obviously Castillo pitched last year. Harvey hasn't been up at, at all yet so far. So maybe bring those guys up, get him some um, experience in the majors, and possibly could be a starter within the next couple years. We'll see how they fare. So he had the double A. Roscoe Lab Ratliff, our top draft pick. Uh, not too bad so far. Robert Norton has been definitely a very surprise. It was a later draft pick a few years ago, and he's uh, been panning out pretty well. Columbia doing pretty decently. Kipper. So obviously you can see in the minors, our hitting not really doing a whole lot, but our pitching is very good. Um, so that's what you want to see for sure. So we're going to send Alec Asher down. And we're going to bring up Jimmy Yacobonis, who's been pretty much killing it in AAA. We're going to give him a shot here in the majors. He'll make his major league debut at some point, but he is up in the bigs now for sure. Uh, let's see if we're going to make any other moves right at the All-Star break. And I think what I said about Castillo and Harvey, we're going to bring Castillo back up. Um, he made some starts last year, kind of struggled, but... If we can put him in the bullpen, he's got an arm that can come out of the bullpen and dominate. So that means we're going to send Michael Givens down to the minors. See if we can get some guys in there that can pitch a little bit more productively. We'll see what happens. Because uh, if our bullpen gets on point with the starters we have and the lineup we have, which is absolutely crazy, uh, this team could be just as good as that Dodger team. So you see we'll bring up Norton to AAA. He's definitely deserved it, pitching very well in AA. So we're after the All-Star break now. Uh, the All-Star game, the AL wins 4 nothing. So you see we have a nice road trip coming up. We're uh, three games Toronto, three games at Detroit, and then four games in L.A. against a pretty good Angels team. So a good test after the All-Star break. See what we have. I'm not sure about trades. I was thinking about it. But we'll see how the first, you know, maybe week goes here. Maybe think about a trade, bringing on, I don't, maybe an outfielder. I'm not sure. But uh, we'll see what happens if we can continue the winning ways. So that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.